what up welcome back to another video guys we are here chilling in jerry's garage and we have two of his bikes completely covered right here um the third one we just dropped it off this morning at williams harley davidson to get service and get some ledger suspension on installed on it um so today we're gonna be showing you guys what his fourth bike is if you saw the video uh, from earlier this week where we're talking about you know buying used bikes and what you should buy used bikes and everything else um we mentioned on there that yes he did get a new bike so his fourth bike now his four bikes in his garage here you go jerry for the people that think that you don't work on your bike <laughs> <laughs> just putting in some nice little pretty pretty bolts in here yeah it took the saddlebags off all right guys well without further ado this is jerry's new bike right here new used bike this is what year is it 1999 1999 evolution night train. night train last year of the evil right jerry yes first year night train last year evil. first year night train last year evil it's all blacked out got a little chrome accents here and there got a nice fender on there twist the spoke front wheel just FYI, this bike was completely beautiful and clean. Before Jerry rode it home from New Hampshire. Before Jerry rode it home. But he rode home and in a storm. And the bike is filthy. And yeah, Jerry doesn't clean his bikes that much, so. I ride them. He rides them, doesn't clean them. <laughs> but it was good though. I'm pretty sure once we, you know, get into this and polish it down and yep. clean it up a bit, give it a little shower, it'll look more good. But it's a, it's a cool bike, man. Definitely a cool bike. So Jerry, talk to us a little bit more about your uh, about your new baby here. Okay, so it's a 1999 Harley Davidson Night Train, uh, 1340 Evolution engine. Um, this engine here has Screaming Eagle CNC ported heads, Makuni carburetor, uh, high compression pistons, and a high horsepower cam. This is what they consider the stage four back in, back 19, in the day. Yeah, 1999, whatever. So how, how many CCs are you pushing out with this bugger now? It's still 1340, it's 80 cubic inches. Okay. So, but it does have higher compression pistons and higher horsepower. Um, the higher horsepower than usual. So normally these things were like 48 horsepower, something like that. Then if you used to do like an exhaust, an air cleaner you'd get like 60 horsepower out of it and then if you did like a cam uh get a decent air you know uh, and change the carburetor out you can get 70 horsepower maybe a little more 75. um this thing with the heads and the high compression pistons and everything i'm hoping i have to have a dyno but i'm hoping it's pushing close to 90 at the rear wheel which are you gonna awesome. get a dyno what? You're going to get a dyno? I'm getting this dyno, I'm getting my street bike dyno, and possibly my V-Rod. I might do them all at once. It I think depends. before you should get your uh, your V-Rod dyno, you should definitely put some work into that. Just in case. Yeah, you could see. I mean, it's probably only got star course power. It's got a you know, screaming eagle exhaust and an air cleaner, but that's about it. So, this bike is filthy. <laughs> this bike is definitely filthy. Dirty bike. Are you gonna change out the seat? Change out the what? The seat. Uh, eventually. I think you should honestly get like a solo seat on here. Uh, so you go with a gunfighter. I need some, some kind of back support because I am old and need back support. Yeah, but uh, I, I would definitely do a single. I seat. I thought about doing a solo seat, but I don't know what the back fender looks like. Actually, that's a good thing we can look at right now. Let's see what the back fender looks like. I think you should definitely because this is more of a hot rod type of bike. Definitely yeah. a single seat. Now, yeah, these of, bikes originally, they they come with this uh, fat boy wheel in the back, right? Yes. And then the front one is always a spoke? Oh, it was a 21 inch spoke. That's a 21 inch spoke also, but it's a twisty spoke, and it has uh, a wider front tire than normal. So. I, I really like the fender on there. Yeah, it's a, it's a nice cool fender. These, these fenders are, they're very popular. Chrome like, front on, end. I know, I'm baggers right now. Like I said, twisty spoke front end. I, I think I'm gonna, I'm, I think I'm gonna go get my... Lowers chrome, yeah. that's what I said. Yeah, I want it chromed out, that looks nice. Yeah, so like I said, you got the 21 inch wider tire, 21 inch twisty spoke rim, 
the, the, the bigger fender, chrome front end, changed out the blinkers to a, the newer style. It's got the extended headlight bezel. It's got all chrome controls and levers. Um, let's see, we went over the engine. I don't know what pipes, I don't know what pipes these are, but they sound great. You wanna turn it on? Yeah, um, turn we'll on. just go over first and then we'll turn it on. So it's 5.2 gallon tank. These are split tanks, so you have to fill the left side first on the right side. You gotta fill both of them up. Yeah. Gotcha. This is for the padlock because you just know fork lock back in the day on the older frames you have to padlock them. Yeah, old school. Uh, Harley grips, Harley mirrors. Uh, it's got the tack on it too, which is nice. Yeah, I saw that. Um, let's see. Some Koryakin pegs, some Koryakin stirrups. The stirrups saved my life on the way back or whatever, because if I couldn't, if I was just on regular pegs at 80 miles an hour in the freezing cold, I think I would have been in bad shape, but the stirrups kept my feet at a great angle. And it wasn't too much like, you know, sometimes when you just have regular pegs, y your feet shifts around. Your pegs are mid control, so they're, really, they're under you. So it's, it's a way different when you're driving. So with do, do uh, okay. So I see you got a, you got a choke right here as well. Yeah. You got to choke it before you turn it off? Yep. Carburetor, right? Yep. And you gotta turn the gas on before you turn it on too. So explain to us the whole operation of a carburetor bike. How different it is to uh, these new bikes where you're just able to press yeah, a new button bikes, on. Sometimes you don't even need, like your bike, you don't even need a key. No, you, you just you got a key fob. You flip it them. on and that's it. There's no key fob, there's no security, there's no... Um, so for these old carburetor bikes. Yeah, so basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna unlock the bike. We're gonna turn the gas on down here on this petcock. So now the gas, gas on, on first. Yeah. It's a whole process. And then pull the choke out. And then start her up. Fire it up. Sounds great. <laughs> yeah, it sounds great. It sounds really good. She runs good. I'll have to put some gas in her and you can take her for a ride if you want. Oh, it's kind of shitty out, man. Yeah, it's like drizzling. You can wait till tomorrow. Yeah. Well, uh, it's like a little drizzle going on right now, so we'll, we'll wait a little while to take her out. But she sounds great. Definitely cool. 
Very different. I like all the wrinkle, all the wrinkle black on here. Yeah. Very cool. Can't beat that. I was gonna go for a chrome engine, but I got everything else chrome. So. No, I, I like every. I like the whole black out look, man. And then he put all these extra covers Very on. Very stealth. Yeah, that that looks really good. This frame kind of reminds me of an Indian type of thing, but <laughs> not as much. Yeah. You can still see the engine. You can still see a lot of stuff, but he did put some covers on there and everything. Very good. You did good with this one, Jerry. Yeah, just gotta clean it. Yeah. That's it. And fix the, the loose tail light. And then they're here. What do we have? We have the we have the Roll King under this. Uh, this is the. And then we have. Um, what's under this one again? That's the V rod. The V rod, yeah. I mean, they already sent the V rod. You gotta uncover that one. Yeah, excuse my messy garage. Jerry's a hoarder. I'm not a hoarder. My, wife, my <laughs> wife's a hoarder. <laughs> but don't tell her that. <laughs> That's a bike, guys. I hope you guys uh, like it. I know I do. Very different from everything he has. Um, Jerry has bags on all his bikes that he has. So I told him for this one, this one came with bags, saddle bags. So I told him to take it off. Just keep a nice, clean look on it. Very different from obviously what you already have. And uh, a nice little cleanup. Yeah, we got this. That's why we're switching out the these the disgusting heart, right? bags right here. Yeah, you're a little, little beat. Ugh. Well, that's it. We're gonna see uh, how many bikes are to come later on for Jerry because he wants to get a few more. Oh, yeah. You wanna get a few more? Yeah. Well, we gotta clear out behind well, we here. We gotta clear out his garage first and see if we can fit two more in here. That's it. That's gonna be it, guys. If you're new to my channel, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell button so I don't notify you every time I upload any type of new content. And that's it.